What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Joe. I'm still by myself. Welcome to my garage. You guys have all been here before. Um, so, what I'm doing today is I'm actually going to go fishing. I um, told the boys they'd take him fishing for a little bit, so I'm excited to get out there. And I figured it'd be a good video to bring you guys along, kind of see, you know, uh, what I do when I get fishing. So, just to give you a quick once over. My setup is pretty simple. I do have braided line on, um, so I use this sometimes salt water to get fishing. Um, it's an ultralight peel pole. It's a Shakespeare ugly stick. I have a Shakespeare reel on there. Can you guys see that? All right. Uh, we're using rubber worms today because I don't feel like messing around. It's a school day. I don't feel like messing around with live, you know, live worms for the boys or bobbers or anything like that. And they can all kind of cast themselves. So. We're going to go ahead and use, um, you know, uh, rubber worms, artificials. And I'm sorry, guys, my tackle box is over my buddy's house, which we're going to be going to today. But I wanted to show you how I put my uh, hook on. So I use, I think it's a 3 0 hook. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's got a little wedge on top. Um, I can't tell if any of this is a focus or if I'm even on camera. So I hope that I am. Um, so what I'm going to do here guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to tie I do a polymer knot. So uh, you go in through the eye once, eventually. My vision is not as good as it used to be, so it's kind of harder to see now. My knife is also in my uh, tackle box, so I can't cut anything. Okay, I'm going to start this over because I don't have any knife in here or pliers. I'm going to break it line. It's not really, you can like bite it, bite it. But let me see if I go again here. Try one more time. It ain't happening. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I am back with some proper tools. So anyway, I got myself a straight line here. All right. What is going on down here? I don't know. No. This could be the worst fishing video ever. That's why I don't do these things by myself, guys, because I'm better as a pair. So anyway, mm. <laughs> son of a gun. Alright, so that's done. So how do I tie my knots? You, there's a ton of different knots. I actually saw one online the other day I want to try, but I'm not confident enough to try it in front of all you guys. But like I said, I go through one through a hole once, which is very hard to see now. It used to be way easier when I was in my teens. Alright, and then I go back through. Just like that. So now the entire hook, the eye hook is the line is in, in between. See that? And they have a little loop here. Then with these two pieces, with the loop here and the two pieces of string here, I go underneath and just tie a simple knot. Simple knot right here. Keep that up there. And then I just pull tight. Once that's done, you guys probably can't see that. I don't know if you can see this at all, guys. I'm sorry if you can't. There's the hook. There's the loop. And then I, pour, I pull the hook through the hoop and just pull down tight and it cinches on there. This is one of the stronger knots, at least it was when I was a kid. Um, it may be different now and then obviously you have excess here. <sighs> I'd be damned if I didn't have, oh, I found them. 
I cut my knee shorts. You take the excess here. I need to be cut it off. And then we're ready to go. I'll show you how I rig the worm up here once we get down to the lake. Like I said, we're going to my buddy's house. He lives right in the lake, right in my scene development. I'm going to bring the kids. They won't be on video, uh, but they'll be fishing too. Um, and we will uh, hopefully catch something. be interesting. We'll see you over there. So how cool is this? This is my buddy's garage shed area. His backyard is right there. That's where I'll be fishing eventually, but look at this. I mean, why would I go look at it? Isn't that unbelievable? Like, what a setup. Like, he has a, a it's better than Walmart's fishing section. That's where I go to get my fishing lures. I just come here and Venmo him some money, I guess. Look at all that stuff. Got pole set up, ready to go. Got the kayak in there, ready to go. And look, that lake's right there, ready to go. I mean, if you're gonna get fishing, this is it. This is how I would do it, right? All right, so guys, what's gonna have to happen? I think we've got tomorrow morning. Really windy out. Weather's not looking the best, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, come out here tomorrow morning after I drop the kids off, and we'll do some fishing, and we'll see what happens. Now I finally get to get some fishing in here. Um, so I'm using a, this is a Gary Yamamoto, a four inch digger, dinger they're called. So you know how I hook it. So you put it in that way, pull it out, and you let it rest in a little ledge on top of the hook. All right? And then you just put the hook in, pull it out, and then bury it so it's weedless. It's kind of the goal there. If you guys can see that or not, but you want it to be weedless. And uh, let's see what happens. Wish me luck. Tap, 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 could be a sunfish. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but we're going to give it a shot. Got the tree. Hook the tree, but we're going to use it. I let it go in, let it sink down a little bit on the bottom for a minute or two, and then I pop it up. on this side.
Hit it as soon as it hit the water. Felt it too. what's called a bird's nest here it looks like. So the line was loose my reel. Oh, that should be pretty easy. So you gotta pull it all the way out till it is. I even can't really get pull it tight. Reel it in. Just keep an eye on it. It's a pretty easy fix. Looks like I know what I'm doing. That's why I call it fishing guys, not catching. I don't know if I've already said that joke. If I have, I'm sorry. Right, we try a different color. A little more darker green. We call it watermelon. Give it a few more casts, see what happens. There's not much life out here and time is running short. again. Could be a sunfish. I think it was a bass that would have taken it.
Nothing. Well, that's how it goes, guys, with fishing. So, maybe we'll get out here again. Maybe me and Larry come out together once he's able to hang out again. And uh, take our boat out, maybe catch, catch some fish. But, hope you all enjoyed this video. I had a good time making it. It's always nice being out here. And all next time, dude, we'll see you next time. That sounded weird, but uh, grab yourself something cold to drink just in case. Put your feet up and relax. We'll meet you at the lounge.